This is CBS 17 News. A man and his niece killed in a Mother's Day crash. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Liz Ortiz. And I'm Russ Bowen. They were riding on an ATV on a city street. CBS 17's Haley Fixler has been digging into these details of the crash and state laws when it comes to these vehicles. Haley. Well, Raleigh police say this crash is still under investigation, but they do say that both the driver and the passenger on the ATV were not wearing helmets, and they took the ATV out on the city streets, both of which played big factors with this terrible tragedy. Half a dozen bright yellow smiley face balloons float above the black pavement of Pool Road in Raleigh. A memorial now sits on the sidewalk after a joy ride turned deadly. Raleigh police say 36-year-old Keevan Epps was driving an ATV Sunday night with 18-year-old Jaya Jackson. Friends tell us Jackson was Epps' niece. Investigators say Epps drove into a car driven by 24-year-old Taylor Williams. Epps and Jackson were thrown from the ATV and died. Williams was cited for not stopping at a stop sign in two counts of misdemeanor death by motor vehicle. North Carolina law does not allow ATVs on public highways and roads unless riders need to cross the street. Helmets and eye protection are required at all times when on an ATV. And there's good reason for these rules. The North Carolina Department of Insurance says three people died in ATV crashes in 2020. The U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission reports North Carolina is the ninth state in the country for ATV related crashes. They even launched this campaign urging people to think twice before taking ATVs out on the road. Now, recently, it seems that more and more drivers seem to be taking their ATVs out on public highways and roads. In fact, just last week, the Nash County Sheriff's Office said that they were going to be cracking down on people taking their ATVs along US 64. Live in Raleigh, Haley Fixler, CBS 17 News. All right, Haley, thank you.